Hi, good morning. Today I'll be speaking about fibroids. A lot of fear about fibroids. Fibroids, nothing to worry. It's a brief introduction about what are fibroids, how to manage it. Fibroids are nothing but non-cancerous growth in the womb or in the uterus. Why do the fibroids come? We don't know the reason exactly. Uh, remember, it is a non-cancerous growth, nothing to fear about it. It's quite common. One in three women after the age of 30 can develop fibroids. Okay. What are fibroids exactly? Usually in the womb, there's a muscle wall. Uh, womb is most majority of the womb is made up of smooth muscle fibers. Few muscle fibers in some areas start, start multiplying on their own and they form a sp small swelling. These swellings will be known as fibroids. Okay. This fibroids turning into cancerous is very, very rare. This is the most common fear a woman has. So turning into cancer is very rare. One in thousand fibroids rarely turn into cancer. So nothing to fear about it. So it's so common that after the age of 30, 30% 30 of women can have fibroids in their own. Most of the time women are not aware that they have fibroids in their own. Then how do we know that? So the, if the women are not aware of the fibroids, any time if a scan done or if an examination done to an woman by a gynecologist, then we'll come to know about the fibroids. These are classified as asymptomatic fibroids. So what are the symptoms, what are the uh, complaints a woman with the fibroids can have? She can have excessive bleeding during the periods. She can have pain during the periods. She can have difficulty in passing motion. She can have difficulty in controlling the passage of urine if the uh, fibroids are very big. These fibroids can range from the size of a small peanut to the size of a watermelon also without women being aware of it. So as the size becomes bigger, the chances of having symptoms or the complications, uh, complaints because of the fibroids can increase. Occasionally what happens, the fibroids, sometimes most of the common uh, 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 place where the fibroids develop is in the wall of the ohm, what we call it as intramural fibroids. Occasionally the fibroids can form within the cavity of the ohm, what we call it as a submucous fibroids. These fibroids are the notorious one, even if they are size of a peanut, can cause excessive bleeding. So these, all the types of different types of fibroids can be easily identified when we do an ultrasound scan for you. But occasionally we may miss a small peanut size of fibroids which can be detected by doing a procedure called the hysteroscopy where we put in a small telescope inside your womb and look for these types of submucosal fibroids. There are other things, uh, other type of uh, fibroid is a subserosal fibroid which, cover, which comes from the outer layer of the womb. Most of the time it is asymptomatic, doesn't cause any symptoms or any pain except the, the size is big, it can cause a swelling in the Home, uh, which could look like a big belly that's all.